We are here for the roadmap project at the hospital, which was looking at trying to change the way people work, trying to get our staff more um, present at award level, trying to enable them to work differently to sort of support patient flow in the trust and to make sure the patients get the most out of their medicines. I think we've improved the time from decision made to discharge to patients having their medicines. We've increased the number of patients who've actually been able to speak to a pharmacist about their medicines to ensure they're getting the most out of it and increase the presence of our department with ward staff so that actually we're getting involved in other things that we wouldn't have done had this project not started in the first place. Definitely for um, patients, the project that we've done has allowed staff to um, be innovative with their ideas, look at what we can do on separate wards to be able to utilise um, equipment and time and skills it's allowed staff to obviously upskill. So I think some of the main challenges were people were very used to working in silos and in isolation before. It was about trying to get people to work together. It was about trying to ensure that actually we could see that this was for the benefits of the patients. Um, I think the main ways we've tried to overcome the issues have been by engaging with people, by talking to people, by listening to their concerns. Now, when you say the word change around the staff that we have, it's kind of like, oh, we've been here before and we've done new things and that's been really good and we've learned a lot from what we've done. So, just, People are just, excited by it, aren't yeah, they, instead of scared? Yeah, they're not scared of the word change. has always been sort of hanging over. And so what, personally, have you had to learn or to do to kind of make that happen? So I think to do that, you need to always be transparent. You need to be honest if you've tried something and it's not worked. It's like, OK, guys, it didn't work. What can we do different? What I'm most proud of is that from an idea that's on a piece of paper and including all of those people in what you can achieve in kind of a short space of time and um, just being sort of innovative and forward thinking on how we can improve services. Be shortlisted, I think it's great actually. Yeah, it shows that um, actually the team's done something that people appreciate. Um, people are aware that we've done something different as a team. Um, and the team think it's great actually having this nomination, having external recognition from outside the trust as well as inside the trust is really giving them a yeah. positive feel.